busy day yesterday for emergency crews in Colorado responding to call after call after a bomb cyclone hit. They had to dig multiple drivers out of the snow during the blizzard conditions, which continued into this morning. Crews responded to hundreds of accidents and were even forced to shut down major highways for a period of time. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, why the term bomb cyclone? When a, a cyclone or an area of low pressure, when the pressure drops tremendously, very, very rapidly over a 24 hour period, what we call rapid deepening, getting the name a, a bomb cyclone. And this storm across the uh, central plains yesterday, just deeping, deepening tremendously. The net result, an all out blizzard, uh, thunderstorms, heavy rain, wind. And that storm is ongoing this evening across uh, the Great Lakes, though it has weakened a little bit. But some of that moisture is actually headed our way, not severe like that uh, for Friday. As we take a look outside in uh, Newport now into partly cloudy skies, cool but not very cold. We'll stay well above freezing tonight, not nearly as chilly as the last couple of nights. The humidity will be on the rise as well, and we do have some wet weather for Friday. Uh, scattered showers, some isolated thunderstorms, windy and warmer, some areas of fog. It'll be the kind of day where it's not going to be raining every hour of the day, so you'll have opportunities where you're outside, it's not raining or, or showering at all, but it's one of those those days where you want to keep the umbrella on standby. I just think the better chance of downpours and maybe even some thunder would be during the afternoon and evening. During the morning, it's more kind of scattered and sporadic. Good news, no 50-50 weekends this time around. It's dry both uh, Saturday and Sunday. We'll show you that in just a second. St. Patrick's Day weekend turning a lot cooler for next week. Now, high temperatures for tomorrow, very location dependent. And the reason why we will have a sea breeze, the wind coming in off the water. The water's chilly this time of year. Water temperatures running only at about 41 degrees. So while we're forecasting much milder air for tomorrow, a lot of that will be realized inland away from any sea breeze influence. You get closer to the shoreline. We're thinking upper 40s to around 50, where the better chance of perhaps 55 to even 60 would be in the areas in orange. Of course, the sea breeze plays a factor year round, but it's it's more pronounced this time of year just for the simple fact that the water is obviously still cold from the winter. Clouds are on the increase. There's that what was once a bomb cyclone now spinning across the Great Lakes. Attached to it, a warm and a cold front. The warm front comes through overnight tomorrow morning with a couple of showers. The cold front comes through during the afternoon and evening with a better chance of heavier showers and thunderstorms. The whole thing is obviously out of here just in time for the weekend. And what the storm is essentially doing is separating cold air on one side and warm air on the other. We get on the milder air for tomorrow and then the cooler uh, temperatures arrive for the weekend, but at least it will be drying out. Forecast shows a couple of showers initially approaching a tomorrow morning, but again, notice the widespread activity and slightly heavier downpours by afternoon and especially by tomorrow evening. And then all of this sliding offshore and moving away just in time for the weekend. Watch the temperatures go up tomorrow afternoon inland areas mid and upper 50s and a little cooler along the coastline and the winds will be rather gusty as well. A gale warning in effect. There's your dry weekend both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in Newport looking good weather wise and in West Warwick on Sunday. Their St. Patrick's Day parade is sunny, but it is a lot cooler on Sunday, but dry with a temperature at 45. So windy showers, fog and a lot of melting snow. In fact, uh, a lot of big puddles and perhaps even some minor street flooding tomorrow afternoon with all that snow melt. At least it's happening Friday because we have a lot of celebration to do us Irish people, even us non Irish people. I'm, I'm always celebrating. I'm sure you will. You're going to have a Reuben, <laughs> and corned yeah. beef, and cabbage. That's yeah. It. All right, Tony, thanks. <laughs> okay.